Okay, people, today we are going to do some cooking. And this is uh, by request uh, during my last uh, live stream Q&A. And I solicited, solicited uh, what people wanted me to make for videos. And um, very popular uh, were requests for cooking videos. And uh, in particular, for cooking in a Dutch oven. And so uh, I'm going to cook something in a Dutch oven. And last night on my other channel, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this is a channel where I uh, play games and do other live stream type stuff. Uh, if you subscribe, it would really help me because I want to unlock some features with that channel, but I have to have a certain number of subscribers. Anyway, last night I was playing this game, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, uh, with a bunch of guys. One was from Louisiana, uh, another one from Iowa, uh, and then uh, Mr. Mesmerize from Germany. And he participated in the last stream, and uh, eventually we got together and decided to play a little vidya together. Anyway, the guy from Louisiana started talking about jambalaya, and Mr. Mesmerize uh, said he had no idea what it was. So I decided to make him a video because it's really good. So this is something I've been eating for nine under 42 years, or however the expression goes. I ate this constantly when I was a kid. My mom made it at least once a week. Um, but she didn't call it uh, jambalaya. She called it Spanish rice. Uh, and I've kind of evolved the recipe over the years myself. And basically it's like paella or the Spanish uh, version but it's a little different so as you probably know a lot of different cultures uh, combine to um, make up what is New Orleans and uh, this is kind of a classic dish for them um, so the coals are going pretty soon we're gonna cook so our uh, Dutch oven is preheating I'm gonna put some uh, bacon grease in there and let that uh, all melt off. Now we're going to add in uh, some onions and uh, stir these. Uh, we're basically we're just driving a little bit of the moisture out of here or, or sweating them. And when they've sweated for a little bit I'm going to add some uh, cut up bacon and give that a little stir like so. And just cook this for a couple minutes till the bacon starts to crisp a little bit. Not too much though, you don't want to leave it on there too long. Now we're going to add in meat. And uh, for me, I'm going to add in some ham. Uh, if I have tasso ham, which is basically quick cured and smoked uh, slices of pork shoulder, I'll use that. Um, some andouille sausage. And uh, for my German friend, uh, some cut up bratwurst that I had left over. Uh, different people use different meats. Some people add chicken, beef, and all this stuff. But I'm, I like the taste of like ham and sausage and bacon and all that kind of good stuff. Some people add shrimp. Um, in fact, probably most people will. Um, but I don't have any and it's kind of about what I have on hand. The other thing I would usually add is some green onions, but I don't have any of those either. Now we'll give it a good stir, and we're going to just uh, cook this until this kind of the sausage bits and stuff kind of start to brown and and all of that. Now we're browning up pretty good, and I'm going to add uh, green pepper, celery, and tomato. And legend has it that the tomato was added to this uh, because the Spanish in New Orleans were trying to make uh, paella but they couldn't because uh, importing saffron was too expensive. Um, so they kind of adapted the dish, and the next thing you know, we have a, a classic dish. I'm just stirring this up for a little bit. Now I'm adding in two cups of rice. And that's uh, just regular uh, white jasmine rice. Uh, a lot of people... In uh, we'll use like wild rice or different things, but um, I don't have any of that, and I do have some jasmine rice. So that's what I'm going to use. And uh, I'm going to stir this and kind of roast this rice a little bit. It's already looking pretty good, huh? 
So next, I'm going to add uh, three cups of chicken uh, stock. And I make this whenever I make uh, fried chicken. So it's a big, hearty, thick stock. Um, really tasty. Uh, that rice is going to soak up all of that and that grease and all the flavors and combine real well. Now I'm going to add eight ounces or one cup of uh, tomato sauce. Stir that in real well. And it uh, just occurred to me um, that this recipe, since I'm making it, uh, fulfills another one of the uh, stream requests and that is for stuff that's easy to make while camping. Now if you wanted to make this while camping, you could just cut up all of this stuff ahead of time, have each little ingredient as I've added it in its own separate bag, and make it as I'm showing you, because that's basically what I did today. Now there's some uh, paprika. I'm going to add, oh, I don't know, I suppose that's, uh, what do you think that's about a tablespoon? Uh, individual mileage may vary. And uh, you can't make this without adding at least a little bit of cayenne. I'm not going to add a huge amount just because um, I've got kids that are going to be eating this. And um, But I am trying to slowly bring them up. But that's probably a half a teaspoon of cayenne that I'm throwing in there. And I've got some ground thyme. I'm going to add, uh, oh, let's say... How about we go with about a half a teaspoon? And I'm going to add uh, probably a whole teaspoon of uh, ground black pepper. It all kinds of depends on the saltiness of your stock, and I know what this stock is like. I don't salt my stock, so hopefully um, this will turn out good. And I give it a little stir here. And um, what we want to happen is for this to eventually come to a boil uh, and cook and every once in a while we're going to have to check it but in order for that to come to a boil we're going to have to add uh, some more heat so I'm going to put the lid on the rest of these coals on top so it's going to get heat from the top and the bottom and uh, shortly here I may add even a little bit more heat depending on how long that takes to come up because um, unfortunately that's a lot of liquid. So uh, I'll check back in a minute. All right, so it's literally been a minute. I'm a, I've got one of these little tools that make this a lot easier. So I'm gonna lift the lid. We're gonna take a look. And we're just now starting to kind of simmer. So I'm gonna set the lid aside for a sec. Uh, give this a stir. At some point, I'll probably remove some of the heat that I've got on the bottom of this so that our rice doesn't stick. Um, but this has to cook basically until uh, all the liquid is absorbed and uh, it looks tasty. Let me just taste this stuff. Mm, yeah, that's going to be good. So uh, I will just uh, do the cooking and you can sit back and relax. Uh, when this is getting close to done, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot a little more video for you. Mission accomplished. We have boiling, and that rice isn't sticking. Have a lot more to go, though. Want that all that liquid gone. All of it. Yum. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting there. Won't be long, and I'll have to take it off the heat. I like to let it set up a bit. Now, uh... I don't know. There's everybody has their own favorite recipe for this stuff. Uh, this is my favorite, so I'm gonna call this the best jambalaya in the world. And uh, you make your own, and hopefully um, you'll have your own recipe, and it can be the best jambalaya in the world too. Oof! Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, we are done. Look at that. Mm, mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the heat and let this set up and uh, stay nice and warm until I finish the rest of the food, which won't be long. Anyway, um, give it a shot. Uh, like the video if you thought it was enjoyable. Uh, if you could throw me a subscription, that would be wonderful. It doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.